Morning, Jelly Rockers. Welcome to Jelly Rocks Fishing. Look who I got with me in the salt water. I got Terry out here with me. Well, we planned on going offshore, but Bobo the Weather Clown has other ideas because he said it was going to be 1.2 at 11 seconds. Nope, that's not what it is. So we're going to sit here right now. We're going to try for some sharks. And hopefully, as the sun gets higher, hopefully it'll calm down a little bit. And then we may go look for some cobia. If we don't do that, we may end up in shore fishing with live shrimp back up in the mangroves. So we'll see what happens, guys. Hopefully we'll catch something today. Wish us luck. Maybe. Here we go. I'm hooked up. Okay, first fish of the day. What we got here? We're looking for weak fish. Let's see if it's that. It's a weak fish. How about it? We got one. Well, we weren't having no luck at the sharks, so we decided to come in here into the little close reef and see if we can't find these guys. And guess what? We found them. Cool little fish. In the state of Florida, there's no size limit and no bag limit on weak fish. Awesome. All right. Terry's hooked up. It's a fighter right there, buddy. Come on, be some more weak fish. Nice weak fish. That's a good one, man. All right, well, we are on the weak fish. Sweet. That's a good eating fish, too. Little sugar trout. Nice one. I like when they drum like that. Yep. I got another one. Oh, fight me, baby. Fight me, fight me, fight me. That's a whiting. That's a whiting. It's just dark coloration. Okay. Whiting. Cool little fish. Oh, come on. Come on, buddy. Got him? Yeah. All right. That's, it looks like a nice one, man. Fight like a good fish. All right. Acting like a trout now. Mm -hmm. Dude, come on with it. That's a good one. That's a good trout. I just got nailed. That's a good one. That's what you want to catch. Whole bunch like that. Dude. Pretty one. Nice. Pretty fish. Nice fish, brother. All right, guys, what we're doing is just you, simple fish finder rig, little one ounce weight, little two foot section of 20 pound test leader. And Terry's got one. Little one out hook with a live shrimp. And we are having a ball. Springtime weak fish. Awesome. Another good one. Terry's catching the good ones. Very good eating fish, too. Nice fish, man. Nice. Oh, getting wet. Getting wet. <laughs> All right, we got one here. Come here, buddy. Might be a trout. Yes, sir. That's a good trout. That's a good trout. Good trout. Yes, sir. Well, couldn't make it offshore to do the reef stuff, but hey, this is panning out pretty good. Still putting meat in a box. That's a good one there. Little yellow mouth, teeth just like a speckled trout. Cool fish. Hey, got one here. Feels like a trout. Feels like a trout. Little guy, we'll let him go. I'm catching some bigger fish than that. All right, see you, buddy. What do I got here? What, what do I got here? Is that a trout? Yeah, it's a trout. Oh, they swallow it. Nope, you got it. He's a go home trout. Yeah, he's a go home trout because he got he bleeding. Come on, buddy. All right, another good one. Another box fish. Sweet. All right, guys, I got me a good fish here, y'all. This is this is sheep's head. I'm about, I would bet money this is sheep's head. 
Was I right or was I right? It's a good sheep too. Dude, you just, you just <laughs> said something about, I'm surprised we ain't called a sheep's head. Look at that stud. That's what I'm talking about. Nice fish. Heck yeah, that's a good one. That is a good one right here. Nice fish, nice fish. That's a stutter. How you like that? <laughs> Terry's hooked up. I think it's a trout. Flounder? <laughs> Come on with it. Little guy, but hey. We're circling the map on him. We getting some species today. We got trout. Sea bass, pigfish, sheep's head, now flounder. Come on with it. All right, what we got here? Is this another trout, I hope? Not a sheep's head. It is a trout. Oh, dude, right there he came off. He was just holding on to the shrimp. He, would, he didn't have the hook in his mouth. Crazy All fish. Right, what we got here? Another whitey? Another whitey. Another white. What is it with say it and catch it? I know. I just said that, didn't I? I just said, oh yeah, I didn't mention whiting earlier. <laughs> and bam, there we go. Another whiting. Another sandwich or shark bait. We actually are catching quite a few fish, to be honest yeah. with you. Not too bad at all. all. Right, what we got here? What's that? A little trout. Little guy. Little dude. Oh, man, really? Oh, Terry done hooked something good. Oh, that's a good fish, Terry. That's a good fish, buddy. That ain't a trout. That's not a trout, buddy. I don't even think that's a sheep's head. Oh, no. I don't even think that was a sheep's head. It just came unhooked. Dang. All right, what do we got here? Might be another sheep head. Uh, yeah, little one. Right, sheep head starting to bite. A little sheep head. All right. Where's your big boy cousin? The brother. Okay, you got a trout. Pretty sure. Was that a trout or what was that? No trout. No trout? Uh, it could have been bluefish. Bluefish. Got me something. That's another trout. Another little trout. What happened to all the big boy trout? These little guys showed up. Alright, hooked up. Come on, trout. Come on, big trout. That's a good one. What's that blue fish? Oh, bluey. Oh, blue fish. Adding another species to the day. If you were bigger, I'd keep you. All right, guys, but well, we switched up. We are stop bottom fishing, stop fishing for trout. It started getting a little sloppy where we were at. So now we're close to the beach. And what we're doing right now is we're looking for rays. And we're right now we're going to be targeting some cobia. They've been coming through. They're a little bit south of the inlet. That's where we are right now, about five, six miles south of the inlet. Right now we're just looking around, see if we can't find some rays. And hopefully we can find some. Hopefully we'll get a shot out of cobia. Well, that's what we're doing now. All right guys, well I'm back in. Terry and I had a good time out there. After we got done fishing for the, um, the weak fish and everything on that little reef, we went looking for some cobia. We spent like two hours driving around looking for cobias and rays. We didn't see anything. So basically we just came back home so now I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about those shirts I was telling you guys about. In that video that I did when I had something to tell y'all. I told you all that stuff that was going on with me. We got these shirts right here, guys. This is by David Dunleavy. And here is his catalog. Man, he's got some really, really good shirts here. Got a whole bunch of them. 
and I'm wearing one right now. It's a little dirty because I was out fishing, but you got some cool stuff on the sleeve. Got a nice logo. And I'll show you the back here in a minute, and I'll show you some other shirts, but he's got some nice stuff, y'all. There you go, guys. There's a couple of his shirts. He's got this really cool flounder shirt. Awesome sheep's head shirt. We got some cool stuff, sheep head, some uh, blackfish or totog, and the uh, triggerfish. The one I'm wearing has got a shark on the back. So some awesome shirts, guys. So I'll put all the information so you guys order one of these shirts and a link in the description area of this video and all the videos that I'll be doing from here on out because most likely I'm going to be wearing his shirts because I really like them. I think they're an awesome product. They're very well made. They're good shirts. They're the breathable kind of shirts. They dry real quick if they get wet because I found out today I got soaking wet and the shirt dried real fast. So they're awesome fishing shirts, y'all. So if you're interested in these shirts, just check out that link below and contact him, order some shirts, and you guys will be flying right. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate it, y'all. And until I see you again on the water, tight lines, Jetty Rockers, we'll be seeing y'all real soon.